Hey queens, welcome back to my channel. It's HRSD here. I hope you are having a great day so far. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial or a how to download CC to your game for those of you who don't know or want to know, I guess. So yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys probably know because there's like plenty of other videos, you know, online. So like, eh, watching this video is probably gonna be pointless, but you know what? It's fine. I just want to help. So yeah. <laughs> so um, I get a lot of questions where I usually get my CC from and mostly or like the majority of my CC comes from the Sims resource. So yeah, um, I'll probably link it down below for you guys, um, but like mostly I just download like hair and like makeup from The Sims Resource. Like I usually don't download clothing there because like most of The Sims Resource CC is like alpha and like alpha clothing to me is really ugly. No offense to any of the creators, but like I just don't like the texture, like this dress over here. Like, I, it just looks really ugly. Like, no offense, but that's just my opinion. Like, these jeans down here look cute, but, like, this shirt, I don't know. It's just the texture, and, like, I just don't think it looks nice, per se. But, like, I'm not saying that all, like, you know, alpha outfits are bad, but, like, some of this, this is cute. Like, I would probably get in this in my game, but, like, I probably would not because what is that but <laughs> yeah like some of the eyes like I usually get my eyes here because like they make it so realistic and gorgeous like the baby doll eyes so yeah um also I'm gonna show you guys where I usually get my alpha hair so I usually get it from South Nick from the Sims Resource I love their hairs it's just like it's great alpha hair like I highly recommend if you guys like alpha like yes Another one is Nightcrawler. I I love their hair. Like, that's just great. It's just, oh my god. Like, I have that in my game. And it's just great. <laughs> so another website I use is Tumblr. So I usually just, you know, follow people on Tumblr. And I just go on my feed and see what I like. And mostly, I follow Max's Match. Ooh, I love those boots. Okay, we're downloading that. So yeah, <laughs> so downloading CC is kind of self-explanatory. It's really not that hard. Also, I have a Windows, so if you guys have a Mac, I'm sorry, I can't really help because I really don't know how that works. So this tutorial is probably not gonna help you if you have a Mac, so I'm sorry. <laughs> But for those of you who have, bleh, for those of you who has win or who have Windows, um, I hope this helps. So yeah. So I just downloaded the boots. Thank you for downloading. And then there's something that should pop up down below any minute now. Oh, there it is. Okay. So what I do is I once it's finished downloading, I go to show folder. And it's right here, so I usually, um, I either cut or copy it, so I, yeah, so I'm gonna cut it. And if you want to find your mods folder, you're gonna go to documents, and then do you see where it says electronic arts? You click on that. And then it should say The Sims 4, and then click on that, and then it should have, like, a bunch of, like files and stuff so you want to click on mods and these are my mods my sorcerer mod my extreme violence mod my hoe it up mod my genie mod and then my asian Rosie's mods because i didn't know what to name it i could just name it my mods but like since like um this is in the mods folder i wanted to separate it so not have like two folders you know the same so yeah i have my fairy mod and my elf ears mod so basically, that's where you find your mods folder. So I usually just slip in um, my mods in my Asian Rose mods folder. So um, I like to separate it by folder. So if it's like accessories, you know, cast defaults or clothing, female hair, makeup, yeah. So since this is boots, I usually just put it on clothing. I know I should probably separate it by like shirts, um, pants, dresses, or maybe even shoes. But I don't know why I just I just don't do it. So I just copy and paste it in 
And yeah, it should be in there. So yeah. <laughs> also, make sure if you're downloading mods, it's like a, it says like a package file. Otherwise, I mean, it's not a big deal if it doesn't say a package file. You just have to extract it using WinWar or like something else that you can some other like program that you can use to extract things. But like, yeah, if it's like a RAR file or like a 7Z or something like that, if it's just a RAR file, you have to extract it. So like, otherwise it won't show up in your game. So yeah, you definitely want it to be a package file. So yeah, so that downloaded. So I'm gonna hop into game and I'll see you guys. Okay guys, so I hopped into game and I'm on Creative Sim and we have our model Valerie here. I made her in a previous video if you guys recognize her and she's gonna be modeling for us, I guess. So yeah, so whenever um, you hop into game, I kind of skipped over the loading. Like when you first start out, there's like the game menu and stuff. So you want to go to the dot dot dot, like the option menu at the um, top right hand corner, top, top, top right corner, yeah. So you want to go to game options and you want to scroll all the way down to other and make sure you have enable custom content and mods checked off and you want to have script mods allowed. Also, you can click view custom content. As you can see, I have a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. And you want to click apply the changes when you're done. So yeah, so I didn't really download much. I just downloaded boots to make it quick. So we're gonna try to find the boots and have her model it, I guess. <gasps> and there it is. Doesn't really go with her outfit, but yeah, you guys get the gist. So yeah, that's pretty much it, how you download CC. And I hope this tutorial really helped you guys. If it didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, um, I hope you guys liked this today's video. If you guys did, please give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new. Also, follow me on Twitter at HRoZ. If you guys want to collab or talk, hit me up. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye!